All right, let's move on to Tesla battery day failing to get investors charged up. Stock down, what, some 5% pre-market. That despite Tuesday's big promises about a super fast Model S and dramatic battery and manufacturing improvements over the coming years. Tasha Keeney is analyst with global asset manager ARK Invest and joins us now. Tasha, I mean, really, I think investors are already charged up this year with the stocks up almost 400%, so we'll skip that part. What was most revealing about what you heard yesterday from uh, Elon Musk and crew? Well, I, I think that the key takeaway here is, you know, you, you mentioned the $25,000 car. Um, Tesla is reducing battery costs by 50%, increasing range by over 50%, and reducing investment. So the cost to build factories by 70%. I mean, if you're a traditional automaker, you must be so scared right now. Um, I mean, you're, you're trying to save your core business in the pandemic. Um, and on top of that, you're trying to build an electric autonomous vehicle. And really, none of them has su have successfully done that, um, especially on the EV front. Um, also, if, if, you, if you are building an electric vehicle, a lot of automakers are actually using a different form factor of battery than Tesla. So they, they couldn't even try to copy Tesla if they wanted to. They'd actually just have to uh, start with a whole new battery platform. Um, but on top of that, I think it's just going to take you know, at, at this point, with Tesla's patents that they have on these new this new uh, cell structure and architecture, I think that uh, it could be sort of a lifetime advantage that they have over the auto industry. I mean, I think it'll be massively difficult to catch them. I mean, this is, these numbers are a, a huge: fifty percent reduction in cost per kilowatt hour, fifty percent increase in range, as you said, and nearly seventy percent reduction in investment per gigawatt hour. I want to pick you up on what you just said there, because in the past we've discussed this. You've said, look, Tesla's battery technology is, what, four years ahead of the competitors. Are you now saying if, and I'm putting a big emphasis on if, they can achieve this, then that lead would be insurmountable? I, I think that's exactly what this means. And, and, and the cheaper car, um, you know, all, is also another point in that bucket, right? Because now if you want to match Tesla on price and performance, how are you going to do that? They're just, their cars are getting even cheaper. They're breaking into other customer segments. Um, so really, I think their, their market share um, it, it sh should be a, a lot greater coming out of this announcement. Their, their future market share should be greater coming out of this announcement, too. Um, because of that cheaper model. Uh, and I mean, traditional autos are really just wasting their time on things like fuel cells, which we know is a much less efficient technology, doesn't make sense from an infrastructure perspective. Um, so they really even hadn't, haven't even gotten their ducks in a row yet on batteries. And now Tesla's just running away from them. It's quite fascinating, isn't it, if we're talking about a $25,000 entry point. And actually, they were saying a fully autonomous Tesla, but we'll skip that bit because I know you get very excited about their advances in uh, <laughs> autonomous technology and their d data collection, too. Because you know, if you look on the lifetime basis of an electric vehicle, it works out cheaper. But it's the entry point, the relative height or the greater cost that's... Um, difficulty for many people here if you can bring those kind of costs down then you know there's a double whammy here too but this is all about the future and I think that's what investors are focusing on today it's it looks great but can they achieve it Tasha why should we believe that they can well, I think Tesla sort of already achieved the impossible, mm. and and we know that they're um, the leader in batteries. Um, and if you think if you think of where are battery breakthroughs happening, um, if they're happening in the lab in these research centers that are outside the company, where's the first place you want to market your new invention? It's going to be Tesla. Um, so I think that on, you know on top of their their own internal work, they're likely seeing the most cutting edge research coming at them from every other place in the world. I mean, Elon Musk has said, if you can build a better battery, show it to us. Um, so so I, I think that it's, it's sort of an easy case to make that if anyone can do this, it's Tesla. I love that um, idea. And They're yes. a magnet. Yes, so. A magnet for all those that have some kind of groundbreaking potential technology. They go to Elon Musk and Tesla first. Tell me why you're excited about the autonomous opportunities again here, because I know it comes down to the data that they're already collecting and again, an advantage that you think they have. Yes, well, one incremental update that we heard last night. Well, first of all, it's, it's notable that th this is battery day and Elon Musk mentioned autonomous technology a number of times. I mean, this is clearly so important to them and they, they know that. 
Um, and, and it makes sense to us because we see this as the next largest opportunity in the auto industry. It's going to completely change the way you look at an auto company if they pull off autonomous technology. They're basically going to have software as a service like margins. But last night we heard, um, so Tesla has been working on this update to autopilot for some time that basically combines two of the steps that you need in the process uh, um, to, to make a, an autonomous car successfully drive. In doing so, they get an order of magnitude improvement um, in the, the efficiency and sort of the, the, the processing that you can do in, in an autopilot. So, so that seems to say that, you know, this, this autonomous lead that they have other, over other automakers is again going to be accelerated um, by this new thing that they're building, which is this rewrite of their neural net. Um, so Musk said that that would come out um, in full production in the next month. Uh, so that's another really exciting development uh, that I think is likely going to be overlooked. <laughs> Tasha, I'm going to get shouted out for asking this because we have about five seconds, but I know it's a long term price target. Post stock split, what number should we be focusing on for Mark Invest? So we're working on updated research. Look out for that. But our published price target right now, um, if you account for the stock split, split would be about $1,400 per share. $1,400. Yes, and so that's really taking into account the electric and the autonomous opportunity. It's, it, you have to value this company like a technology company that it is. Yeah, I know. This is not a car maker in your view. Okay, Tasha Keeney, just a car maker. Tasha Keeney, analyst with ARK Invest. Great to have you with us as always.